The split between Yugoslavia and the Soviet Union is an interesting and understudied event in Eastern European history. Today, I'm going to be reviewing and analyzing the history behind the film When Father Was Away on Business, which focuses on life in Yugoslavia following the Stalin-Tito split. So let's get started. The movie focuses on a family living in Sarajevo in the early 1950s and is told through the perspective of Malik, a young boy. Malik's father, Mesha, is a Communist Party official. Mesha neither greatly opposes nor supports the Communist state. He is a fairly non-political guy. But, in an offhand moment, Mesha makes a very mild criticism of the Yugoslav state, saying that a cartoon published by a state-sponsored newspaper is, quote, going too far. This comment reaches the ears of Mesha's brother-in-law, a higher-ranking party official, who takes great issue with it, partially due to his personal issues with Mesha himself. Mesha's punishment for this benign statement is to be sent to a labor camp, which is disguised as a business trip to his friends and family. Through this storyline, the film gives us an insightful look into Yugoslav life and culture following the Tito-Stalin split. The movie artfully depicts the climate of fear that arose in Yugoslavia during the late 1940s and lasted until the mid-50s. This atmosphere was created due to the diplomatic split between the Soviet Union and Yugoslavia, the result of a geopolitical struggle between the influence of Tito and Stalin. As Mesha finds out, a good communist must toe the party line with no discrepancies. Immediately after the Soviet-Yugoslav split, Tito and his allies purged pro-Soviet elements from top leadership positions in the government. On an international level, Yugoslavia was removed from communist organizations like the Common Form and completely cut off from Soviet economic aid. In countries throughout the Eastern Bloc, leaders suspected to be sympathetic to Tito, or even those just too independent, were removed from power under Soviet direction. In History of the Balkans, Barbara Yelovich describes several examples of this happening, such as Laszlo Raik's execution in Hungary and party purges throughout the Balkans. Back in Yugoslavia, Tito initiated his own Stalin-style purges of common formists, people who were supporters of the common form, and pro-Soviet communists. As Ivo Banak describes in his book, With Stalin Against Tito, when the dispute between Yugoslavia and the USSR began, the Yugoslav Communist Party, also known as the KPG, at first attempted re-education of Stalinists, leaving alone those who converted and demoting or expelling those who did not. This rather mild approach was only employed because the KPG believed the conflict with the USSR would eventually be settled. As the dispute intensified, so did Tito's treatment of common formists, leading to a sort of Stalinist anti-Stalinism, as described by Svetovar Stojanovic. Arrests massively increased, with only 18.8% of arrested common formists being tried in regular military or civilian courts. Most of the accused were sentenced to hard labor, with the average sentence being 10 years long. It is in this environment during the late 40s and early 50s that When Father Was Away on Business is set. During this tense climate, a comment so mild as Mesha's could lead to a sentence in a prison camp if it was intercepted by the wrong person. We don't see much of Mesha's stay at the camp during the movie, but we know from prisoner testimony what they were like. The most notorious of these camps was Goli Otak. The camp was designed to crush the will of prison and destroy their loyalty to the common form. Upon arrival, inmates were beaten and berated by other, quote, reformed inmates, or rivadirci. The, quote, bandits who refused to convert were quarantined and harshly mistreated, and even the rivadirci had to be constantly vigilant to maintain their position of power. Eventually, most prisoners were sent home, and some were even allowed to re-enter the party bureaucracy, as occurs in Mesha's case. While brutal, these measures were largely effective, and they created the fear of speaking out depicted in the film. While Tito is often seen as a benevolent dictator due to the success of the Yugoslav economy and system of governance, he still committed massive human rights violations, following the tradition of Stalin's Great Purges. These atrocities shouldn't be forgotten while examining Tito's reign and Yugoslav history. When Father Was Away on Business does a good job reminding us of this shameful part of Yugoslav history and depicting the environment of fear and suspicion Tito's purges created. Of course, the purges are only one important part of Tito's legacy, but a more thorough examination of the man is best left to a separate video. If you guys are interested in historical content like this, please like and subscribe because it really helps my channel in the eyes of the YouTube algorithm. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please stay tuned for more.